Hey lovelies, so today I'm teaching you how to make a quick and simple version of cornmeal porridge. So as you can see the pot is um, boiling away. In there I've got four cups of water, so that's equivalent to two pints. I've got one teaspoon of grated nutmeg. I've got a trace of mixed spice and by trace I literally just mean a tiny bit because it is quite strong and it can taste unpleasant if you use too much. Um, I've got one teaspoon of salt, four tablespoons of vanilla or you can use four capfuls, it works out to be the same. Um, and then I've measured out uh, my cornmeal, so I've got 350 grams of cornmeal in a measuring jug, which is just here. And then to that I've added three cups of water. So the vanilla that I use is this one. Yeah. You can just use any normal salt you want, it's up to you. I use this uh, brand of nutmeg, the Dunn's River. I just use the Tesco mixed spice. Don't have to, you know, get all the brands for these things because all you're paying for is a label, you're not actually paying for anything other than that. And then this is the cornmeal that I use, the Dunn's River. And I use the fine one. Depending on where you are, price might vary. The cornmeal that you have to use might vary, so that's up to you. So to the pot now that's boiling with the spices in there, I'm literally going to add the cornmeal that I've added the water to. And then I'm just going to mix that as it goes in. But I'm going to use a wooden spoon for that simply because I don't need to be scraping the pot for the amount of mixing that I'm going to be doing so I'm just adding it to it once you've added your corn you need to turn your fire down to a low flame because it will start to pop up and then you don't want to get burnt with popcorn now. So as you're mixing, Hello. sorry about that, my nine month was kicking off. So as you're mixing, you just want to do it in an eight figure as you see me doing in the pot. So you're not literally doing this. You're just going in an eight figure. And then I'm just going to partially close the pot, not enough to fully close it, so that bit of heat can escape. And then I'm gonna add, we'll rinse out my measuring container that I was using add some water to it so that as I've mixed my porridge I can put the spoon back into the container of water. Doesn't need to be any special water, I just use water from the tap as you can see there. So I've just put some water in the container with the spoon. I'm just going to mix again. It's starting to thicken up now, as you can see. What you don't want is to leave it for too long without mixing it because then you get lumps in there and it is very unpleasant. 
the last thing you need but if it does start to get um lumps it just means that you just need to mix it for a bit longer to kind of get the lumps out of the porridge Remember to turn it right down to the lowest heat possible. And then I usually just leave mine to cook for another, say, 20 minutes. And I stir it at five minute intervals. Don't worry, it's, it's quite thick now, but once she add your milk to it nearer to the end it will definitely thin up and when you add sugar to it as well sugar makes it become a bit watery so that does help I wouldn't advise you to add any more water at this point because then that's when you get porridge that's just too runny and it has no substance to it I'm happy that it's got no lumps or anything. Just gonna leave it to cook for another say 20 minutes, stirring at five minutes intervals, remember, and then to that, once it's finished, for the 20 minutes, I'm going to add seven tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna add one and a half cups of milk. And then I'll leave it to simmer for a further, say, three to four minutes, and then it's done. If you don't want to use uh, fresh milk, you can use coconut milk, um, in which case, if you are, I would recommend that you use this one. It literally is the 165 ml uh, tin. And that is a perfect amount for how much you have in the pot there if you're using my guide. Um, so, yeah. Um, to that, if you want to add sugar, you'd obviously have to test as you go along to see how much sugar you'd like in there. There's also the option to use condensed milk. Um, so, you use condensed milk and you can use a bit of fresh milk alongside that. But again, condensed milk can be quite sweet in itself. So, yeah. See you guys soon. Bye.